it's hard to remove fossil fuel subsidies because we have a centuries old energy system which has been built on oil, gas and coal that creates uh, interdependencies and entanglements of governments with the production and consumption of fossil fuels, with businesses with the production and consumption of fossil fuels and with individuals. You know, we have, I heat my home with gas. This is something that's part of my day to day life and, um, and, and with most of us and untangling that and changing that uh, requires significant yeah, require significant, I would argue, require significant support of government to set that trajectory. And uh, some vested interests and some actors will be, there will be winners and losers in the energy transition. And in some ways, uh, the government has to uh, look at what, if you're uh, overcompensating, so you can have, you've had oil and gas companies that have had super normal profits because they've been winners in the current energy system. You will probably have potentially renewable energy companies or others who will have super normal profits in the future. So you need to mitigate that through sort of proper taxation systems, but you also need to protect those who will be most affected uh, by the tra transition away. And if governments do that well, then I think the resistance um, is lowered. If you're protecting uh, people who might be losing their jobs through retraining, through early retirement, through good pensions, it makes the resistance to change lower. And I think if you are open and honest about the support that's provided, why you think it needs to change, you can also create more public appetite and support for, for reform.